So today we're doing a little bit different of a video. So if you're familiar with the 540 and you watch me on a regular basis, this is a continuation of the noisy trends. If you're new here, it's probably because you want to see if this stuff works. So I'm going to put in a sound clip. My followers know what this transmission sounds like. If you don't know, here's a sound clip. So yeah, a uh, little backstory. Transmission was run dry for probably months, hundreds of miles. Uh, I put fresh fluid in it. I did a bunch of maintenance just to find that the noise uh, didn't go away. The damage was done. So it's clear that this transmission is worn pretty badly. It's a ZF five speed for those of you who aren't familiar. So uh, these take ATF and I'm going to take this thing on a road trip coming up here and I want to try to get this thing to see if it can sound a little bit better. And I was put onto some stuff right here called Exato. Uh, it's, it's, I don't even, I think it's European stuff. Um, but it's called Exato Revise, Revitalizant for manual, direct shift, and robotized gearboxes, transfer cases, and differentials. Uh, it's the EX120 Extreme Action 120%. Let's see if this will zoom. Yeah, so EX120, 120%. Concentration is increased to 120% compared to the gel revitalizant. So what this stuff is supposed to do is seals up blowholes, micro scratches on operating surfaces, optimizes true contact in gear contact areas, reduces noise and vibrations, increases accuracy of gear shifting, improves operation of synchronizers, all this stuff. So um, I think a lot of like mechanic shops use this for like quick fixes or like you know band aids. Uh, clearly this isn't, uh, well that's the thing, so I watched a video from this company, this stuff supposedly is like ceramic-y and it rebuilds and fills in like gouges and wear and stuff. So I figured what better test than to put it on this transmission that may be too far gone, not really sure right now, but you guys heard that clip, it is noisy. So what we're going to do is, I'm going to put some gear oil in it, not um, ATF like it calls for. I'm going to put some thicker gear oil in it, like 7590 or 8090 or something like that. And then you're basically just supposed to add this stuff. You can see here, oil capacity 1 to 2. You only want to do one syringe. The treated transmission part is in critical condition or damaged, 100% wear. The part should be replaced. So it's likely that this car is beyond repair, but we're going to try this stuff anyway. So I'm going to get under there, drain the ATF, see uh, if any metal chunks come out, and then uh, put some gear oil in it, and then add this to the gear oil, and... Uh, Take this thing on a road trip. So I'm taking this thing down on a two hour road trip. So I'm gonna keep you guys updated along the way, see if the noise decreases. I've heard this can take like four hours of drive time to really like kick in. I'm really excited for this. I wanna see if this stuff helps or not. Now let's see what kind of stuff comes out. That looks pretty metallic-y, if I do say so myself. And I could be wrong, but I did, I did hear something fall. There may be a chunk of something in the bottom of this pan. So I'm going to check that really quick. I heard something fall and it was actually this. So this fell out of my trans. Um, so I knew three to four had issues. My guess is that this is a synchronizer. I could be wrong, but I obviously don't think this is part of the main gearing system. This is probably a synchronizer, which explains the iffy gear shifting. Could explain the noise too. But clearly this transmission is, you know, critically damaged. So I don't want to discredit this stuff. I just want to disclaim right off the bat. I've heard great reviews on this. People put this in healthy trans because they say it shifts smoother. So I'm, I am going to still put this in and see what it does. And it might still improve things. But as a disclaimer, my transmission is critically damaged. So if this stuff quiets it down in the slightest, that would be impressive. Matching flakes of uh, this piece right here. And the more I look at it, it has a, oh, right there. The more I look at it, it has a bronzish gold look. So I believe that is a synchronizer because I'm pretty sure these cars have brass synchronizers. That's what I meant, brass, not bronze. So I believe that's all brass. So uh, yeah, my weapon of choice here, Redline MTL. So this is a GL4 7580. Uh, but not only that, since I don't have enough of that, I'm going to go ahead and throw this 8090 GL5 from my Chevy in there. This stuff is thick. It's GL5, which as you guys know, is not supposed to go in these ZFs because it's bad for the synchros because GL5 eats away uh, bronze or brass. Um, 
clearly I don't even have synchros anymore the way the, the trans looks inside. So I'm not worried. And this is really thick, which is what I want to, you know, thicken up the fluid in this worn trans. So I'm going to do a little cocktail, a little GL4, GL5 cocktail. Uh, God knows how that's going to work. And then we're going to put the revitalizant in there. I misinterpreted this. So I thought uh, this syringe had like treatment for that many transmissions. Turns out one to two liters of trans is one full syringe. So I'm actually gonna be putting this whole thing in there. So this is like a gel by the way, cause that's open and it doesn't leak out. All right, so it took forever, but I got it all in there. It's all filled up, topped off, ready to go. I gotta finish up a couple other maintenance items that I'm doing at the same time. And then we're gonna start our road trip and see how this bad boy sounds. But in the meantime, if you look, that is, like I said, 20, 30, 40 mile ATF. Uh, that stuff's red, by the way, when it's new. Look at all the, uh, it's kind of hard to see. Uh, you, could, you could see how metallic it is in person. Uh, it's brown and metallic, so a lot of wear metals in there. The preliminary test, I fired it up, and trans still sounds the exact same as it did uh, prior to all this. So I guess I'll see you guys along the road trip. I'll give you guys updates along the way, see if there's any differences. But as of right now, it still sounds as bad as ever. So we'll see. All right, so we are beginning our trip. As you can see, I actually stole the Eclipso's OZs because it's a two hour trip. This car was on like five year old winter tires. They weren't horrible, but I wanted fresher tires and why not make it look better? So obviously it looks pretty rad. Um, I've driven about maybe 10 miles and no change in trans noise. You could hear right there. I just got the GoPro. I didn't bring my, uh, my can or anything. So I'll give you guys some time lapse driving. Then I mean, honestly, at this point, uh, I'll just come back to you guys probably after the two hour trip there, let you guys know what happened and then two hours back and let you guys know if any changes at all. Like I said, I think this trans is beyond what anything could do for it. So we'll see though, stay tuned. All right, so two hours in, we're not seeing any improvements as, uh, as I kind of expected. So I'll update you guys uh, when we get back home. Alright, so we have made it uh, two hours back, so about an overall four hours of drive time, probably more like four and a half, five to be honest. Um, no improvements uh, at all really, I don't think. Um, still winds pretty bad in all the gears except for fifth, obviously. Uh, I think when the trans is cold, it winds a little bit worse than when it's warmed up, which makes sense. But uh, yeah, we didn't see any results within five or within, yeah, within five hours, then I don't think we're gonna see results. So, uh, like I said from the start, I think it's too far gone. It's definitely too far gone. But I mean, regardless of how that stuff worked, this car just did a five hour trip over the course of one day and no hiccups at all. Uh, like at all, the 540 did great. Um, the trans still shifting fine, running smooth. I mean, it's just crazy to think like, it just sucks, dude. Like I would, I would totally just keep this transmission, but it's just embarrassing. It's literally the embarrassment factor of just, I mean, it, it, it turns heads. It's like that loud from like outside the car. So it needs to be replaced. So right now I'm in the process of looking for one. Um, they're so hard to find. I know I've mentioned that before. Nothing, uh, not, the gear oil, the additive, nothing changed it. It's critically damaged. Uh, like I like I kind of knew so it sucks, but it is what it is uh, I'm gonna look for a trans then I'll be throwing that in and then uh, hopefully this car is smooth But thank you guys for watching sorry to disappoint with the product I would like to put it in a different trans to see how it works So I don't just totally discredit the product That's I don't want to do that because I do think that stuff would probably work wonders in a transmission that wasn't literally destroyed So yeah, oh well, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next one